Okay, so I've got um, a crashed Aquila ship from the Battle for McCrag box set. I think you can still buy this from Games Workshop. Um, but yeah, so what I've done is I've painted them up um, to look like kind of beaten and scorched metal. So it's a base coat of uh, lead belcher with a wash of a 50-50 mix of Agrax Earthshade and Nuln Oil uh, in the same way that Templar's Crusade does his washes and then a quick dirty dry brush of Necron Compound so that's just a very 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 dry dry brush basically I've then blasted it to death with about two coats of Purity Seal from Games Workshop I'm sure you could use any kind of satin varnish for this as well so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to coat them with some hairspray. Okay. I'm going to try maybe three or four coats um, because the Imperial Armour model in Masterclass says to do several coats. So I'm, I think I'm going to go for four coats. And I'm going to airbrush it. Um, the colour that I've chosen, I'm going to try and chip some paint off. But it's really important, if you're painting it quite a dark colour, you're going to have to do a light colour over the top so that it shows through. If you do a light silver under colour, like freshly chipped paint, you'll have to go for quite a dark colour. Okay. So I'm going to go spray these with hairspray. And that's all over. Let it dry. Spray it again, let it dry, spray it again four times. And then I'm going to spray it with an airbrush. So I'll see you in just a okay. second. So the, um, there we go. The hairspray has dried. Um, so I'm going to start spraying these with my airbrush. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off by spraying it with Celestra Grey from Citadel. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's quite a nice base colour. I thought it would show off kind of rust and stuff quite nicely. But there we go, I'm going to get started, I think. Okay, so I've sprayed these up. A bit of light, there we go, cool. I'm going to start off with this little one, okay? So, what you need is a mug of hot water, okay? And you're going to need a couple of cheap hog hair brushes. So, they're the kinds of brushes you can get from a pound shop or a dollar store and they say they're artist quality but they're really not so it's just cheap quality hog hair or crappy nylon you know rubbishy quite rough brushes is what you're after I actually used to use this for latex for moulds and stuff so what you want is you want to get your hot water I'm going to check if this is in the camera yes it is you want to get your hot water and apply it on there and let it soak through. By now, the paint that you applied through your airbrush should be dry. A note for you, the paint you put through the airbrush has to be acrylic. Okay? I use Games Workshop paint mixed with a little bit of car screen wash just because it's easily accessible. So, there are obviously brands and stuff. So what I'm doing, I've soaked the water onto there it's hot water so it's hopefully going to go through the acrylic paint and to the uh, hairspray okay so then what you want to do is use your other brush to scratch away at the paint quite randomly removing patches of paint and it's beautiful, the finish is wonderful, um, that 
that's worked really nicely. So I'm actually going to get the towel that I used on the landing pad. Just to scrape away even more of that paint. So I don't want to scrape too much off. So, ah, let's try and get that to focus. There you go. So that's chipped it really easily. I'm really, really pleased with that, guys. I've never actually done this before myself, so I was testing it out following what they said in the Imperial Armour Masterclass, and it seems to have worked really really nicely so of course you could do this on tanks you could do it on troops uh, you could definitely do it on things like necrons um, I don't see why you couldn't do it on space marines to be honest might be a bit difficult but There we go. So I'm going to carry on and keep doing this. And then I'll put some video, not videos, I'll put some photos up at the end and show you what it all looks like. I'm really pleased. Cheers, guys. Okay, so there we go. That is it all done. I'm so pleased with these. Really, really chuffed. But anyway, I think that's it from me. I've got to go and do these. And I I think what I'll do is I will spray those up. I think I'll take some photos. No, never mind. I think I'll take some photos of these now. And I'll just let you have a look through those. Okay, I'm sure this won't be the last you see of them. I'm going to do a showcase video of them all finished up because I'm really, really pleased with these. I mean, look at that. That's really cool. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye.